All right, first, let's go over this Ryobi brushed bandsaw. Now, when it comes to this specific saw, I bought this a few years ago, and I've been using it ever since. This is the only bandsaw that I have, and I've actually been using this to work on projects around the house since a bandsaw is safer to use to cut a metal pipe instead of like a reciprocating saw. This is a brush tool. I bought this a few years ago during a Black Friday sale. This was actually the free tool that I bought with the kit that was on sale at the time. The model number for this specific model is P590. This cuts up to 560 square feet per minute. This does have a single LED light. The cutting area is actually pretty wide. I'm surprised on how wide this is for being a Ryobi tool. It's 2.62 inches. It is 67.3 millimeters. It's actually not a bad tool. It does have an Allen key right here. It does have a Raptor hook. And as you can see, the mechanics in here are nice and smooth. Once again, this is model number of P590. 560 square feet per minute, and it is not a bad tool at all. Next, let's do this Cobalt Brushless 24 volt max impact driver. Now this impact driver is a bad man pajama. Are there more powerful impact drivers out there? Yes, but that doesn't mean that this tool is useless. This tool does pack a punch especially with a four and a half hour ultimate output battery. This impact driver is capable of doing many things, including doing four inch by half inch lags, and it's able to do anything below that, like eight inch timber locks, six inch backs. It's 2023, tools are powerful, you guys. A lot of brands have extremely powerful tools. Oh, they are having a sale, $149 for the two tool combo kit, the, the new drill driver and impact driver. I'm gonna go pick that up right now. Bought it, $150, two tools. Not too shabby, you guys, not too shabby at all. It is not a quick insert collet and you need to adjust the collet for it to go in and the same thing taking the bit out. Does have a single small LED light underneath the housing for the anvil. It does have three speed settings. It has one, two, and three, and it does have a finishing screw mode as well. This tool goes up to 2,700 RPM, 3,500 impacts per minute, and 1,800 inch-pounds of torque. It does have a belt clip, and it also has a bit holder, so that's very useful. Not many tools come with that anymore. Cobalt is one of those brands that are that have fantastic sales throughout the year, especially during the holidays. This is actually the older model of the Cobalt Brushless Impact Driver, and it's not too shabby if you ask me. This is a Hilti 12 volt impact driver. The model number for this is SID 2A12. $109 tool only, it's 2,750 RPM. Quarter inch hex collet, the collet is not a quick insert. You actually need to adjust the collet to put the bit in. Same thing to take it out. This is a nice compact 12 volt impact driver. This, this is my go-to impact driver when I do the small tasks because if I need an impact driver and my 12 volt screwdriver doesn't do the trick, this is the next thing I grab. And if the task I'm doing is a little bit too hard for this, I bump that up to a higher voltage impact driver. Most 12 volt tools aren't that expensive to get into and for your average DIYer slash professional homeowner, 12 volt tools do the trick. There are two LED lights on the base. It is a variable trigger only. And this also has a belt clip on it. Hilti 12 volt batteries range from 2.6 to a four and a half hour battery. And this battery has 21,700 cells. And the 2.6 amp hour battery actually does not have 21,700 cells. This one has a 18650. So the, there is a difference between the 4 amp hour and the 2.6 amp hour when it comes to power to the tool. All right, next, let's do this Makita Brushless Subcompact Drill Driver. This is not a hammer drill. This has two speed settings, speed one and speed two. It has a 20 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill. It has a half inch fully metal chuck with a plastic housing. And a kit, this tool is $179. 1700 RPM, 350 inch pounds of torque and Makita's tool warranty is three years. This is a nice subcompact drill driver if you need to get into tight spots. Are there other options out there besides this one? Yes, there is, but if you are already a part of the Makita line, this would be good to go for your needs. All right, next let's go over this DeWalt black and gold 15 piece drill bit set that is also enclosed in a tough case. This bit set is $16.97. It ranges from 1 16th all the way to 3 8 these bits do have split point precision for no walking. They have upgraded these to a durable, stronger core. It has three flats on the shank to prevent from spinning inside the chuck. So these are the bits I've been using for the past couple of years to drill through metal. And like I said, these are only $16.97. Not too shabby, you guys. All right, let's talk about these, shall we? 
These gloves, they're not a permanent solution to actually keep your uh, hands protected and get grip on whatever it is you're working on. These majorly wear out in, uh, in a short amount of time. This is probably like my 15th pair that I bought. And I stopped buying these just because they, they keep ripping apart. And it does have a uh, smart swipe, which I don't think it works anymore. Swipe doesn't work anymore. Unfortunately, if I do that, then there we go. Smart swipe doesn't work anymore. Oh well, see like I said, they don't, these don't last that long. Oh well. All right, but next let's do the Milwaukee Gen 2 M12 Hammer Drill. Now this actually is a bad man pajama. Like I say in many videos that it feature the M12, I just don't like how thick they handle this, but a lot of people love the M12 system, including me. I love the M12 system as well. All right, this does have two speed modes, speed one and two. It has a 16 point clutch plus two, which has hammer mode and drill mode. This has a battery indicator on the side. The battery is full. Single LED light underneath the chuck, and this actually has a fully metal chuck, even the housing for it. When it comes to drilling through concrete, this actually does do half inch holes, which is actually amazing. So the M12 line is a good line of tools to get into. All right, this is the DeWalt Atomic DCF850. You guys probably saw a lot of videos on these already. This has been out for almost a year, or if not more. This is 61.6 millimeters in width and in length, 100.1. The quarter inch hex collet is a quick insert, so just push it in, you're good to go. To take it out, adjust the collet, comes out. I love this tool, you guys. This is actually uh, one of my favorite impact drivers ever made. I wish I had this back in the day. Very useful, compact tool, very powerful. And remember, you guys, when the Atomic first came out, hardcore DeWalt fans hated this line. And I love these tools. All right, this bit holder actually has a bunch of stuff that people, you know, tend to just oversee. This has a quarter inch hex opening in there and you could actually put a bit inside and you could use this as a screwdriver. Let's actually look at the head of this really quick. Not much damage to the head. You drove the screw in, so it's good to go. But it doesn't only stop there. It does have a holder in the back for a sleeve and it holds whatever bits you want it to hold. And it also has a wire stripper right here. But this, this actually features a bunch of stuff that people do, didn't even realize. It's not secret, it's right, then, it's right there, but when it comes to bit holders, people just overlook it and see what they can do. And the last tool that we're gonna feature in this video is this Flex Orbital Featured reciprocating saw. Flex sent me this over a year ago and I've actually been testing this. I did a bunch of videos on this and this is actually a very powerful reciprocating saw. As you can see, it does have a quick insert collet so that is in there nice and good. The model number for this is FX2271, 3000 strokes per minute. It does have a raptor hook. The orbital feature on this rotates the blade so you can dig into the wood a little bit more without having to adjust the tool itself and you could also just cut straight. An unlock feature up there for safety. I love rafter hooks, it majorly helps out. It do does have a button to adjust the shoe so you could use a different part of the blade if the certain section of the blade is actually starting to show a little wear and tear, just like that. So the longer the shoe is sticking out, you could use different sections of the blade and so you're not using a single section the entire time. You could use the front of the blade or whatnot as you use the shoe and it'll adjust to what you need it to be. And it does have a single LED light right in front of the shoe. If you guys have any requests that you want to see in these videos, just please put it in the comments below. That's what this format of a video is going to turn into. I want this to be tool test requests that you guys want to do. It just took me a few episodes to get used to doing this type of a video because I've been doing versus videos for years. It's a different, it's a different filming style. So I got to get used to this, but I want you guys to start putting your tool test requests in the comments because that's what this video is going to turn into. These videos are awesome and fun to film and upload, and I can't wait to do more. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.